Hello and uh, welcome in this video series about uh, chapter 7. In earlier uh, videos we crossed the introduction, we crossed the simple moving uh, average and in uh, this uh, video series, in this video, we will use the simple exponential smoothing. Uh, the simple exponential smoothing is the second type of uh, forecasting in the adaptive way. We also had the static way. In the simple exponential smoothing, we can also uh, we can use that, but we still do not observe any trend or seasonality. The same as with the simple moving average. And the initial estimate for level, level zero, assumed to be the average of all historical data. How that works out, we come in now. Uh, the simple exponential smoothing works with uh, three uh, formulas. The first formula is about to establish the level for period zero. How do we do that? We um, divide one, divide by n, the amount of um, historical data samples we, uh, we have, and we do that for all the data in our data collection. Um, then we have to calculate the current forecast. The current forecast we calculate through um, F forecast for uh, time, time, let's say time period 4 plus 1. So for forecast 5, it is the level for, um, uh, for period 4. So forecast 5 is level 4. And um, the, how to calculate those uh, different levels? We do through the um, uh, through a smoothing constant. The smoothing constant is an alpha, and the alpha always has to be um, the same or bigger as zero, or the same or bigger as or smaller as one. The uh, formula we use is, for example, L4. L period 4 is alpha times demand 4 plus 1 minus alpha times the level for the uh, period 3, the period earlier, as this is 4. Um, what would happen if we use the supermarket data in the, um, in the simple moving average? So, uh, we have to establish the level uh, for, um, uh, for period 1. Oh, the level for period 1, I'm sorry, the level for period 0 is d1 plus d2 plus d3 plus d4 divided by 4, as there are four different instances. So that is L0 is 120 plus 127, 114 and 122 divided by 4. And that will end up with 120.75. And uh, so the level for period zero is 120.75. Please uh, do not uh, make this 121 as uh, we are going to calculate with it in further on in the, in the formula. And as you do so, you could create slack in your, um, in your uh, variables. And we don't want that. 
Um, the formula, the second formula, tells us that uh, F1 is level 1. Forecast 1 is level 0. We have calculated level 0. So, as level 0 is forecast 1, this is also the forecast for period 1. Period 1, the forecast is 120.75. Those both um, uh, input variables we need for the third uh, formula. The third formula tells us if, um, if we want to calculate the level for uh, period 1, we need the, uh, this uh, uh, formula. So let's write that down on our whiteboard. Level 1 is alpha demand 1 plus 1 minus alpha times L. Zero. So let's, um, let's fill this uh, formula in. Our uh, alpha we use is 0.1. We use um, the, uh, the demand for, um, for period 1. The demand for period 1 is 120. So this is 120 plus 1 minus 1 times level 0. Level 0, we uh, calculated here, level 0 is 120.75. 120.75. If we fill in this formula, we come up with a level for period 1 of 120.68. So the level 1 is 120.68. And as this formula tells us that um, level 0 is Forecast 1, in this case, level 1 is forecast 2, is 120.68. So in this um, case, in this case of uh, the supermarket, supermarket, the forecast for period 2 would be 120.68. This is an example of the uh, simple exponential smoothing. In the coming videos we will uh, take into account a trend and a seasonality.